Hey YouTube, Kira Qualia here, bringing you guys my G Pale Moon deck profile for February 2016. Uh, it's a really fun deck, I uh, finished it up a little while ago, just haven't had time to give you guys the deck profile, but I thought, why not, let's go ahead and get right on it. I run two Dragon Masquerade Harrys. He is your uh, big stride boss of the deck. Basically, you counterblast two and choose one of your rear guards, put in your soul to uh, GB3. When this unit attacks, you may pay the cost. If you do, call three units from your soul to rear. And then, basically, if you have five rear guards, your opponent chooses two of their rear guards and they place them into their soul. So you get rid of pesky rear guards on your opponent's side of the field while also filling up your entire field. So he's a really good card to use. And I also run four uh, Lunatic Dragon. He is basically uh, just a rear guard pressure build and also a vanguard pressure as well. Every time you call a rear guard from Soul, um, basically when you stride this unit, you flip a copy of him face up. And then for the rest of the turn, every time you call a rear guard from your Soul, uh, that unit gets plus 2,000. So you can hit some pretty nice columns with plus 4k to two columns if you call those two units to the soul and you also want um the gb3 effect as well which puts great pressure as well so it gets an extra crit if you have three face up uh stride cards and after that um it puts up the pressure like i said on the vanguard so you can't go wrong with that card and I run one Clifford, just an um, early game stride card, calling a card from the soul, grade two or less, and it gets plus 2,000. And one Amanda. She can call um, a grade three as well, and you also soul charge with her effect. Uh, but it goes back into the soul at the end of the turn, unlike Clifford, which is a permanent uh, stay. And for grade threes, I run four Harry. He is your main grade three of the deck. Um, his break stride effect is counter blast one. When this, when your G unit stride, you may pay the cost. If you do, soul charge one. Choose a card from your soul. Call to rear. It gets plus five thousand. Then at the end of the turn, put that unit back into your soul. So the great thing about the G Pale Moon deck is it calls a bunch of units out from your soul to the field, and they all go back at the end of the turn. So you don't have to risk them being retired or locked. Whether you play Link Joker, Kagero, or Narukami. So it's one good thing about it. And his other uh, GB two effect is um, when this unit attacks a vanguard, you may pay the cost choose up to one card from your soul call to rear and that unit gets plus 3000 so it's a great gb2 effect as well because that effect doesn't put it back into the soul it's a permanent keep and the other grade three is just for burst laugh dragon uh just a nice backup grade three when you ride it you can counter blast one soul charge one and you can choose a grade two or less from your soul call to rear so it's just good field build up and soul blast one the gb1 effect at the beginning of your main phase you may pay the cost if you do choose up to one card from your soul call to rear and at the end of the turn put it back in your soul so you preferably you want to go into harry but he's probably the best backup in my opinion if you do have to ride another grade three and then for grade twos, I run four Flying Parrington. Uh, awesome card. He fills up your columns. Uh, GB1, when this unit is placed on rear guard, soul charge one, choose one card from your soul, call to rear in the same column as this unit. At the end of the turn, put that unit back into the soul. So if you call this unit with Harry, you can soul charge one, call another unit, and your columns pretty much filled out for free as long as this guy's in the soul. And I also run four Dark Side Princess, um, like her, basically because she's not a gen break. And her effect is when this unit attacks a vanguard, um, you may pay the cost if you do. It gets plus um, 5,000, then at the end of the turn, you put it back into the soul. So it allows you to have cards to call with Harry by building up the soul with her own effect and also protecting her. And, you know, she's always sometimes maybe an optional effect as well, like maybe the plus five if you want the attack to hit, or if you want to keep her for an interceptor next turn, you don't have to give her the plus five if you know her attack is going to hit, and the additional plus five isn't really going to matter. And I also run three um, card dealer Jacqueline. She's a counter blast one. When this unit is boosted, you can soul charge one, choose one grade two or less from your soul, call it to rear. Uh, just great additional pressure for multiple attacks with this uh, unit. And moving on to grade ones, I run four. Dark Side Mirror Master. She's the unflip perfect guard for Pale Moon. Uh, this deck does quite uh, counter blast quite a bit, so definitely want to run her as your perfect guard. And I also run four Purple Trapezists. Uh, this card's awesome basically because you can abuse her during the battle phase. If she gets called out, you can call something else out that's rest and, you know, reset a column with her ability. Especially if you use her with Harry. Harry calls out three units. Let's say you already attacked with another unit. Call her out. Put that unit back in. And you'll have two full restanding columns since Harry only calls out three units. Plus also four Stride Enabler. Uh, Masquerade Bunny. Uh, good for stride cost and for getting Harry, which is the card you want as your Vanguard. 
and two Moonlit Melody Tamer Betty. At the end of the turn, this unit boosted a rear guard. You can counter blast one. If you do, choose a card with the Magia ability from your soul and call it to rear. So it's after this unit attacks, so you can, you know, don't have to worry about losing the boost cost if you need to call out something else um, in the same column as her. And then for grade zeros, I run one Happiness Collector. She's great for draw power. Put her into the soul. When a unit is called from your soul to the field, you can draw a card and then soul charge one. So she builds up the soul and draw power. And you can keep calling her out with other effects. You can keep abusing her draw power as well. And I run eight Stan. So I run four a Prankster Girl of Mirrorland. When she is put into the soul from an effect, you can place her on the top of the deck, choose a card from your deck, Put it into the soul and then shuffle your decks. You can restand, re can you can uh, reuse your stand triggers as well as you know thin out the deck and build up your soul with this card. And I also run four Sky High Walker, just an unflip stand trigger, which is really nice. And four Dark Side Mirror Master. What I like about Pale Moon, you know, abusing the soul is when this crit goes into the soul for the effect. Uh, next turn, you can call it back out and use it again for draw power and plus abilities. And four heal, uh, pretty standard. So yeah, that's it for the deck profile. Hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And Kira, Quali out.